Hello everybody and welcome to a video about Dwarf Fortress. To celebrate the launch of the Adventure Mode Beta, I wanted to make a real quick list of things that can make Fortress Mode a lot more interesting now that Adventure Mode is accessible. Adventure Mode is what completes the simulation of Dwarf Fortress, going from just being a city builder inside of a very large random map into a huge procedurally generated open world RPG that's tied together by the fortresses that you have constructed in the world. With this list of things, I hope to give you some ideas on how you can use Adventure Mode to make Fortress Mode more exciting. Or at the very least, add a lot of much needed variation to Fortress Mode's events. Before we dive in, I just want to state that Dwarf Fortress is an interesting game because of the world it generates. Fortress Mode is one of three ways that you can interact with that world. Fortress Mode allows you to build a very large city, and this has visitors who come in from the world, as well as creatures that are named in the world's history in Legends Mode. Reading Legends gives you a very light narrative of events that are happening in the world. Playing Fortress Mode gives you a taste of the flavor of the narrative in the world, and potentially allows you to influence it quite dramatically by sending out raids and sieges and getting attacked by enemies and depleting populations. Adventure Mode is much more intimate than that, allowing you to create a single character or a group of characters to then travel around the world. These characters can directly influence the game in a lot of very, very meaningful ways, from assassinating kings, to rescuing prisoners, to killing forgotten beasts or great dragons. I aim to keep this list accessible to new players as well, so there's nothing super advanced here. So let's dive into five things that you should try in Adventure Mode. One of my favorite activities in Adventure Mode is exploring locations. You might be looking at the world map and going, mm, I can't quite grok the exact shape of this particular location and find yourself embarking repeatedly and then clicking the quit without saving button. Well, what if you could just simply walk around that area? Maybe go into the embark screen a little bit, find something that has some interesting resources, and then dive into adventure mode. Run around with a party or singular adventurer for a bit until you find a particular landmass that strikes your fancy. Take note of where it is, and then embark there with a fortress. And now suddenly, you have an area that seems familiar, giving you a sense of the space around you. Any narrative that the player can derive from the areas surrounding your fortress is a benefit to your experience playing Dwarf Fortress. Even if it's something as simple as you spoke to the mayor of a neighboring town about their thoughts on violence. Number two, stealing artifacts from old forts. If you've been playing in a world for a while, you might have some items or some dwarves or some things in old fortresses, either destroyed, abandoned, or simply retired that you would like to reacquire. Maybe you have a particular militia commander that you were particularly fond of, or a crafts dwarf who always wanted to go on an adventure, but it's been a while since you've seen them, and you're not sure if they're even there anymore. Well, this gives you the opportunity to simply put together an adventurer party, walk into that old fortress, and gather up your old artifacts. Maybe, if you're not gathering up your old artifacts, you're also going up to the mayor or many members of that fortress and asking them to join you on adventures. And if they are a good friend of yours, or you are particularly good at being convincing, they might even join you and follow you somewhere else. Then you can take them from that location to a new location and then retire them in a new fortress. Reclaim that fortress and then you have your old dwarves back without having to worry about the possibility of them migrating over naturally within the game's simulation. Number three, assassinations. Is there a necromancer next door that you really are tired of dealing with? Is there a elven druid that is particularly pesky, causing you a lot of hardship? Is there a human that happens to continuously try and steal your artifacts? Well, Adventure Mode allows you to go find that person, find their boss, and stab them repeatedly in the head until they fall over, and then you can take that location as yours. And then you don't have to go through the whole rigmarole of trying to find them in Fortress Mode. Besides, Fortress Mode doesn't give you the satisfaction of punching somebody so hard in the head that their teeth fly out, grabbing them by the tongue, and then throwing them directly up in the air, and then performing a suplex takedown on them as they hit the ground. There's nothing quite as satisfying as Adventure Mode Wrestling. Number four, bringing cool diversity to your forts. Once you've found a good spot to embark, something you can do quite easily is immediately retire your fortress. I know some people dislike the fact that when you retire a fortress, some of your items can get scattered, but this isn't such a big deal 
when it's a brand new fortress, as you don't have that many items to begin with. Retiring and reclaiming a fortress can cause wooden items to disappear, so do keep that in mind. But aside from quickly making some barrels and brewing some new alcohol, it's quite the trivial task. So once you've found a location you're fond of, embark with your seven dwarves, and then immediately retire the fortress. Once you've done that, then found an adventurer party somewhere else close by in the world. Fill it up with all of the characters that you think would be fun to have in your fortress. Name them something cool, make them super powerful, or super weak and interesting and smart, and then go on an adventure and do all of the things that I've previously suggested. Explore some locations, steal a couple artifacts, kill a queen, and then park your adventurers, your newfound adventuring party, in the location that you just founded. So now, instead of having a fortress of seven dwarves to begin with, you have a fortress of seven dwarves and a bunch of goblins and some bear people. All you have to do when you arrive at the location is simply speak with the expedition leader and ask to stay for a while. The final thing that I would like to say that you should try doing in adventure mode is have you ever had that problem where a bunch of your dwarves get kidnapped while attacking something? And then you're like, God damn, I can't get them back. And no matter how hard you try, no matter what you do, you are unable to get them back. Well, if you really would like to try and rescue those dwarves, now is your opportunity. Retire the fortress, maybe if you're concerned, split it off into a separate save file. Start an adventurer with the best combat skills you can. Train them up on the way in by wrestling every single crab that you see on the beach, and then beat the crap out of those goblins who kidnapped your dwarves, or elves, or humans, whatever it may be, and tell them the classic line, Come with me if you want to live, and take them safely home. I'm going to gush for a moment here and say that I think Adventure Mode is really, really cool. And from my perspective, it's always been a bit of a shame that a lot of people cling to Fortress Mode so tightly as the one game mode that they want to play. It's always been the mode that has gotten more press. It's the one that the game is named after, after all. And that's what people always tried first, and that's usually what people stuck with. I think right now the Dwarf Fortress community has an incredible opportunity. Let's break that gap and make the playing of Adventure Mode a more common thing amongst Dwarf Fortress players. Because Adventure Mode, while it might not be a mode that grabs you and holds your attention as long as Fortress Mode, it is absolutely a wonderful companion to Fortress Mode, and it gives you the opportunity to explore your worlds from a completely different perspective while still launching the same executable file. It's like having a free extra game on top of a game that you already enjoy playing that lets you see that game from a completely new perspective. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you would like to see more videos about Adventure Mode and or Dwarf Fortress, simply check out this YouTube channel. I have an Adventure Mode tutorial playlist which is growing rapidly, and I'm looking for suggestions. So if you have any, please leave them in the comment section underneath this video. Let's Plays and other things will be coming soon, so... Keep an eye on this space, check out the live streams, and I hope to see you in the next one.